everyone. This is MM ASMR, and I'm back today with new nails. Kind of Art Deco gold and silver and charcoal and black, and of course, teal. And yes, my toes are done exactly the same. Well, the big toes are, the little toes are a little bit more simplified, especially the tiny little ones. But it all matches. So, anyway, tonight. I'm not going to do a very long video because I have some things to catch up on um, just with work and with school and I was out all day today um, my shoes were part of a fashion show that was held outside in uh, Coney Island so Google Coney Island Brooklyn we had a big photo shoot there today with um, fashion show and my collection of shoes were invited and it was wonderful it was so good a little late now but anyway I wanted to make this video and it's just going to be a little pointer video because the at home section of the New York Times today had this really beautiful illustration so I thought we could go over it so I'm gonna I'll show it to you in full um, later. Well, I guess I should show it in full now, just so you can see what we're going to be looking at. So let me lay this out, and I'll try to pick up the tripod. So this is the full image. So it's an image of this figure standing by this big wheel. It's almost like a prize wheel from a game show, or I guess a zodiac wheel, you could say, or even a clock. It could symbolize many different things. And then there's like this garden at the bottom. So I just thought we would go over it and go over it in sections with my pointer. And I'll explain everything and point out some of the colors. And I hope that my tripod will cooperate because it's not always a cooperative tripod. So firstly here, we have a sun and a moon. The sun is bright yellow and it's surrounded by white stars and white clouds and the whole background of this piece is black. So black is the backdrop, which is really very clever because black makes all the colors pop. So the sun, the clouds. We have this purple bird with a red beak and a black eye, more stars, and then we have this moon here, and the moon is blue, and unlike the sun, the moon has a little face. And then we have more white clouds, and then standing in the center between the sun and the moon is this little figure, and this figure also looks like the sun. But it has a face. It's got the, the sort of a nose and these fancy eyebrows and two eyes and a smiley face and a sun head or maybe a head with like a halo behind it or a crown and a long yellow neck and two little yellow hands and this hand is holding a purple mask and it's wearing a red shirt with these black details and then if we move down wearing black pants, decorated with stars and boots. So now, if we focus on the wheel, I'll start with this section. So we have two flowers here and a yellow background. Oh, and the whole border of this wheel is in black and white. Black and white, black and white squares. So the whole background of this panel, it's yellow at the top, and then it goes into green at the bottom. And it looks like there are two flowers with black stalks and black leaves and red centers. And this one looks like a butterfly. And this one is a face. It almost looks a little bit like the moon's face. Looks like they're growing out of this grass. 
And if we move to the right, this panel is all black. And it's got white stars, and not only stars that are very defined, but also these little white dots that represent stars. And you have this airplane. It's a white airplane with blue wings and a blue tail. And there's some white smoke coming out of the back of the exhaust engine. And it's flying further into the clouds, ready to head off the page. And then, down here, we have a purple background with a black bird with white stars and a red eye. And in its beak, it's holding a big black key with a chain. Look, one, two, three links on the chain. And I am going to open the page up. First thing, let's just explore this whole section. Down here, we have a blue panel with two faces on the sides. And they look like they're going to kiss. And these faces both look like they're going to kiss. They both have white eyes and white stars in their heads, representing their brains, I suppose. And this little black half-sun figure in between them. And then down here, this is really cute. It's a green background. And there's a hermit crab. I love hermit crabs. I have four of them as pets. And look at the little hermit crab. He's a black hermit crab. He's got blue eyes. He's got little red polka dots on his body, little red speckles. The inside of his shell is red. The outside is black with white stars. And then the um, swirled part of the shell, I don't know the proper name for that. It's uh, red and black and red and black alternating. It's so pretty. There's one, two, three, four, five lines of red. And one, two, three, four, five lines of black. And then here is a little flower that the hermit crab is investigating. And it's got a black stalk. And it's got a little red trim at the top. And a yellow center. And then if we move over to the very middle, it's yellow in this. So the middle of this wheel is defined by another circle that is yellow. And inside the circle is a black sun that's outlined with a smaller circle on the inside that's sort of a green face. So there's a green rim, and that leads to sort of a mosaic black and green um, inner circle. And you have this little figure. So it's nose and eyebrows and two eyes and a, um, a, a frowning face. So this little sun figure is not a happy camper. Whereas this one represents happiness. This one's just not having a very good day. Maybe he's a bit annoyed because maybe this one is a little, maybe this figure is a little heavier than it appears and it's standing on him and he just can't take the weight and he's not very happy about the whole thing. Or perhaps this one is just a really bad upstairs neighbor and makes a lot of noise and is at a lot of parties and all he wants to do is chill out and relax and he can't do that because of all the chaos going on around him. And that would explain why he's not smiling. But now let's open the paper up so we can get fuller details. Oops. I got to fold this three times. Okay, and I hope you guys don't mind the sounds of crinkling. I know some of you like it and some of you don't. Oops. So if you don't like the sound of crinkling, I am sorry. open this up, we see that the bird here has a secondary wing that's completely decorated with white stars. And if we look over here, we see just a little bit more of the hermit crab's feet and his big claw. And there's one big claw. And look, the second big claw is actually gripping onto the flower. So it's even a cuter image. Now let's move on to here, look at this image. We have this animal. Oh, well firstly, the background is black. And then we have this animal, it looks like a bear. It is a yellow bear with black stars and symbols all over it. It's got a blue eye and a red nose and mouth and little polka dots up by its nose. There's one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight black polka dots, and one, two, three, four black stars. And then look, he's coming out of this hulk. It almost looks like he's coming out of another dimension. And the, that other dimension is symbolized by this blue oval. And the blue oval has turned this part of the bear's body that's still inside of it black with white stars. And when it comes out of the other dimension, he turns white with black, or he turns, he turns um, yellow with black stars. So in one dimension, he's black with white stars. In another dimension, he's yellow with black stars. Very interesting. And then look at this one. Isn't this just so fun and joyful? So here's an image. It's a red background on top. And it is a purple background on bottom. And there are these two delightful dancing figurines. So this one looks like a man. And this one looks like a lady. He's wearing these um, kind of puffy pants. I think they used to call these puffling pants, but I might be wrong about that. And he's all detailed, his face and his buttons on his shirt and his pants in purple. And the lady he's dancing with has on a dress and her hair is in a bun. And she's all detailed in blue. And if you look down here at the purple dance floor, there's two black stars on the floor with them. And I really like this because this is the bottommost piece, and it is two-tone, red and purple. And if we look up here, the top piece is also two-toned, yellow and green. So it's a very good design choice. Now, if we look over here, we see a black background, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six white stars. And you have two hands. One is a blue sleeve with a black star. The other is a red sleeve with a black star. This hand is white. This hand is black. And they are gripping each other as if they are shaking hands or holding one another. And so in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight panels on this wheel. Nine if you include this little guy, the centerpiece. But I kind of like the idea of having eight panels because personally eight is my favorite number. So okay, so now I'm gonna move down and I'm just going to focus now on the last part of this really amazing little illustration. So this final part of this illustration, and you're not going to miss much here, but it is all black on this part, and then at the bottom there's a little bit of a white mosaic sort of detail. But up here we have a mosquito, and we'll put the tripod down so we can look at this without my hand shaking the camera. detail. So it is a purple mosquito with a black eye and blue wings. There's one, two, three, four wings, or blue alpine wings, I should say. And he's got one, two, three black stripes on his back. And then if we look down here, we have a bottle. And the bottle is blue, black at the bottom. It's got another kind of sun figure on it. Or maybe it's a star, it's a black figure, and it's got two little red eyes and a red frown, so it's obviously another grumpy, unhappy figure, perhaps because there's a mosquito flying around above it, and it's very afraid of getting stung and then getting one of those itchy welts. And the top part of the bottle is green, the nozzle is green, and there's a little bit of a white lotion coming out of the bottom of it. And hopefully, for his sake, it's mosquito repellent. And then, of course, he could also be frowning because the bottle is over this uh, this hole. So maybe he's afraid of just falling into this void and then just be falling forever and ever. So if we move over along the yellow tiles, we come upon this plant. So it's got a black stem here and two black leaves. And it spreads out into three 
different um, stalks. And there at this stalk, there's one, two, three, four, five leaves, but no flowers. On this stalk, there's one, two, three, four, five, six leaves and two flowers, one and two, and both of the flowers are red. And then on this stalk, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight leaves and a little yellow flower that's not really attached to them. It looks like it's just blown off of this tree and it's got one, two, three, four petals. So in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen leaves, twenty and twenty-one if you wanted to count the black ones. Then moving over, look, there is a snake. It's a black snake with red eyes. And the snake is kind of walking towards this grass section. And underground, to symbolize the roots, you have this black, um, kind of twisty looking vine. And when it comes to the surface, it turns into blades of grass. I guess like a proper vine or grated glass, but all green. So it goes from being the root system to one, two, three, four, five blades of grass. And then if we look over here, we have these leaves. This one is completely under the ground. It's black, it's like a root. And then you have one, two that are sticking up out of the ground and become green. And then we have this green stalk that ends with this big white flower. Oh, it, and these are the ones that you can blow on. And they, um, we used to call them wish makers when we were younger. You basically can pluck these and make a wish and then blow, the, blow on the flower and the bits of the flower kind of disperse out. And there's this little blue figure, a blue butterfly figure. Then if we come over here, oh, and the butterfly figure has one, two, three, four little wings and then two little antennas. And then if we come over here, there's another leaf, a black leaf, just within this yellow mosaic, symbolizing its underground. There's a stem. And this stem leads up to three stalks. One, two, three. And on these stalks, we have many, many leaves. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24 green leaves here and in the center it leads to this beautiful purple flower and the purple flower has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven petals and then right at the top here we have this very ornate butterfly and the butterfly is all red and it has one two three four, five, six black dots. So when you look at this, look at all the colors you can see. Let me lift it up again. You can see all these wonderful colors. Black, white, red, yellow, green, blue, and of course, purple. So I just love the way that this looks. I just think it is so different. It is so unique, and it is something that I really wanted to share with you all. And I hope that this was a relaxing little impromptu video. And I hope that you enjoyed looking at this and examining it with me as much as I did. And please let me know what figure you like the best, what's your favorite part of this illustration. I'm very partial to the hermit crab myself, but that's just my opinion. So let me know what you think. And then, just for reference, because from one artist to another, I have to give credit. This masterpiece was apparently created by Sophie Hollington. So I'm going to certainly Google her and see what else she's done, because looking at this gave me 
an awful lot of joy today. That's all. So that's really it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to be back soon with more videos, although the next week might be a little crazy. But I hope everyone is doing well, and I wish you very sweet dreams. Good night.